Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Breaking down Xena's map from Curse of Oak Island. Curse of Oak Island has shown quite a bit of Xena Halpern's map of the island. This has all the features of the island labeled, but some fans look at the map and wonder about its authenticity. Is it the original or a hand-drawn copy? One fan of the hit reality show finally sat down to break down what is on the map and what it all means. What is the Xena Halpern map on the Curse of Oak Island? The one thing that many fans of the show have pointed out is that there is no way this could be the original ancient map of the island and its features. For one thing, it isn't in the 14th century script. It looks like something someone might have created in the last few years. However, there is a reason for that. It appears that the guys on Oak Island have said it is the original map run through Google Translate. It allows a translation from the original French. However, there are others who say that it is a fake map created to throw off anyone looking for treasure on the island. Breaking down Xena's map on Curse of Oak Island, one Curse of Oak Island fan has looked at the map and has broken down what we know about it. The fan mentioned the fact that there is no way that this is the original map. The script is modern and this is not worn and weathered like the original map we have to be by this point. They also point out that the script is all modern, including the letters S and T. There are also several errors and oddities that are linguistic in nature based on when the map was supposed to originate from. There is also a problem with the compass rose on the map, which has west at the top. Old maps either had north at the top or east. There are also several French words and terms that made little sense in the context of the map. As a result, the Curse of Oak Island fans determined that there is every indication that the map is recent. They also mentioned it was made by someone with barely a passing familiarity with the French language. However, when fans discussed this breakdown on Reddit, one fan mentioned a strong possibility. They felt the original translation was from someone with a poor grasp of the French language. They then created a copy of the map without using the right words in every case. This would mean the new map is the same as the old one, but with several linguistic errors in it. Xena Halpern's map, an enigmatic and tantalizing artifact, stands as one of the most provocative pieces of the intricate puzzle known as the Oak Island Mystery. The map, which was revealed in the fourth season of The Curse of Oak Island, has fueled a wave of speculation, theories, and renewed fervor among treasure hunters and historians alike. But what makes this map so compelling, and how does it fit into the centuries-old legend of Oak Island? To begin with, Zena Halpern was a dedicated researcher and historian with a deep interest in the Templar Knights. Her map, allegedly dating back to the 14th century, purports to show Oak Island with various intriguing annotations and symbols. According to Halpern, the map is connected to the Knights Templar, a medieval Christian military order with a mysterious and often romanticized history. The implication is that the Templars may have visited Oak Island long before modern treasure hunters set foot on its shores. The map is written in French and features several notable landmarks. The most prominent of these is labeled La Roche Vendu, which translates to the Split Rock. This landmark has a real-world counterpart on Oak Island, lending some credence to the map's authenticity. Additionally, the map includes references to other locations such as the Flood Tunnel, the Treasure Vault, and the Anchor, each suggesting potential sites of interest that align with known features or speculated locations on the island. One of the most intriguing aspects of Halpern's map is the inclusion of the Latin phrase in hoc signo vinces, meaning in this sign, you will conquer. This phrase is famously associated with Constantine the Great, who, according to legend, saw the sign of the cross in the sky before a crucial battle. 
The presence of this phrase on the map suggests a link to the Templars, who were known to use this and similar mottos, indicating their belief in divine providence guiding their efforts. The map also features a series of coded messages and cryptic symbols. One such symbol is a cross within a circle, which many researchers believe to be a Templar signifier. There are also references to specific geographic coordinates, though these are subject to interpretation and debate. The cryptic nature of these symbols has led to numerous theories about hidden meanings and secret instructions that could unlock the location of Oak Island's elusive treasure. Adding to the mystery, Halpert's map is accompanied by a narrative suggesting that it was created by a French cartographer under the direction of the Templar Knights. This narrative posits that the Templars, fleeing persecution in Europe, may have buried their treasures on Oak Island as they sought a new refuge in the New World. While this theory is compelling, it remains speculative, with historians and researchers divided on its plausibility. The map's impact on the treasure hunt cannot be overstated. For Rick and Marty Lachina, the map has provided both direction and inspiration. Guided by Halpern's research, the Lachina brothers and their team have undertaken numerous excavations at locations indicated on the map. These efforts have yielded mixed results, with some tantalizing clues, but no definitive breakthrough. Nonetheless, the map has spurred the team to explore new areas and consider alternative hypotheses about the island's history and the nature of its hidden treasures. Critics, however, urge caution. Skeptics argue that the map's origins are dubious and that its supposed connections to the Templars lack concrete evidence. Some suggest that the map could be a modern fabrication or a misinterpretation of historical documents. These critiques highlight the ongoing tension between historical investigation and speculative treasure hunting that has long defined the Oak Island saga. Yet, the allure of the map endures. It embodies the quintessential spirit of the Oak Island mystery, a blend of historical intrigue, adventure, and the promise of hidden riches. Each detail, from the cryptic symbols to the evocative place names, invites endless analysis and debate keeping the legend alive and ever-evolving. In recent seasons, the Curse of Oak Island team has continued to explore leads suggested by the map, delving into its historical context and attempting to verify its claims through archaeology and technology. The quest has led them to uncover artifacts that, while not definitive proof of Templar activity, add layers of complexity to the island's history. Items such as ancient coins, tools, and even potential Templar markings have been unearthed, each piece adding to the mosaic of the island's enigmatic past. Moreover, the map has inspired viewers and amateur historians worldwide to engage with the Oak Island mystery, contributing their own theories and interpretations. Online forums and discussion groups buzz with activity, as enthusiasts scrutinize every inch of the map and cross-reference it with historical records, geological surveys, and previous discoveries. In essence, Zena Halpern's map has become a symbol of the enduring human fascination with mystery and the unknown. It represents the hope that somewhere within the layers of history and legend lies the truth about Oak Island, whether the map is a genuine Templar artifact or a clever piece of historical fiction, its impact on the ongoing quest for answers is undeniable. As the search continues, Zena's map remains a touchstone for those who believe that Oak Island holds secrets yet to be discovered. It serves as a reminder that the journey of exploration, with its twists, turns, and occasional dead ends, is as valuable as the treasure itself. In breaking down the map, we find not only clues to a potential treasure, but also a deeper connection to the past and the timeless allure of a great mystery.